Scotty doesn't know. Guys, few of you have been asking about the boost controller, specifically the three port. So there we go. That's an Amazon 30 something dollar three port Mac valve from Amazon. Now, when I was talking to the guys over at Motion Raceworks, they recommended that I take the reference straight from the compressor housing. So I removed the compressor. Well, removed the whole turbo, separated, took off the V-band, and took off the compressor side, and then drilled and tapped it down there. Then with the quarter-inch push lock hose, I ran it here to a T, and then into the valve. Now, the T goes from here to the bottom side, bottom side of my wastegate, and then from the other side, right, so air comes in here, splits here at the T. Some of the air goes into the, into the valve. Like I just said, this one goes to the bottom port. This one goes up here to the top port, top port of the wastegate. And then on the other side of the top of my wastegate, I have a low dollar motorsports zero to 50 PSI dome pressure transducer. And then it is wired right here with the heat shield around the whole deal into the holly. There's the five volt reference, there's the sensor wire and the sensor ground. The five volt and the ground are wired straight into the power tap off of the holly harness and then the other one goes to an input. Okay, so as I showed on my car, here's a little bit simpler explanation without everything else in the way. Here is the compressor side of the, of the turbo housing, and there's a fitting right here that is plumbed to a T, and then one of those goes to the bottom port of the wastegate, the other one goes up to the solenoid and into the top of the wastegate. Here is more or less essentially what I have. Actually, this is my solenoid. I just didn't use these barb fittings and I have this, the solenoid, the valve, mounted upside down on here so that I could still get this bolt hole and run it into one of the fender uh, nuts. Here's how I am running the power to the Mac valve. I have here my main input wire, this is the MSD solid state relay that I did a video on with the uh, virtual switches. Now I have one of these four goes from the dash to the relay, which turns on the power to, this, to the valve. And then the power comes out, runs to the valve through one of these four. I forget which four, which of the four, it doesn't really matter, but... All I'm really trying to show you right here is that this is how I'm powering it, the solenoid. Power comes in from a switch 12 volt into the relay and then out from the relay to the solenoid. Okay, so I was talking about getting one of these on Amazon. Here is an example. They are all essentially the same. If you buy a Holly one, congratulations, you're just spending more money on basically all the same part this one here is sixty dollars you can find them for 30 just look a little bit on amazon and you can see them really the only difference between this one and the holly one is there's a holly sticker right over the mac valve sticker some of them come with fittings some with some don't some have a mounting bracket some don't either way this this is basically all that i'm using it's just a three port mac valve that runs on 12 volts as I mentioned with a power tap so here you can see we have a chassis ground a sensor ground a 5 volt reference and a 12 volt reference so for the dome pressure sensor we want to use this 5 volt sensor power and then also for the sensor we want to use the sensor ground and then we want to send the other wire to 
the output on the terminator right so the thing to remember when i'm talking about the dome pressure sensor is that it is a three pin connector here's a connector that plugs into the sensor it's three pins and you can see right there it needs a five volt reference a low ground and the signal wire the signal is what we're going to send into the terminator as the input okay so i was talking about how i have the dome pressure as an input and the boost controller as an output here's where i have it it's right here in the inputs and outputs button i have dome pressure is a five volt input i have it configured as a holly 50 psi sensor and then i have it on the pin map on my inputs i have my dome pressure is input number four again you can see that it is a five volt input for the dome pressure i have it set up here under the boost it is a dome pressure control holly single three port it doesn't really matter I mean, you could mess around with any, any of the other of these, but the Holly 3 port is essentially the exact same valve, just with a Holly sticker and at four times the price. So I have all the rest of this set up. The PIDs. This may take a little bit of work on your end to fine tune all of these, but I more or less stole these numbers straight out of another tune done by, um, we'll call him a, a raccoon out of let's say sloppy mechanics and right here under boost versus time i just have a very mild boost curve setup and this is not the boost that is going to be in the intake it is the amount of pressure that's going to be on the top of the wastegate diaphragm pushing back down under the outputs my boost scramble is a ground my trans brake launch is a ground and my boost plus solenoid, right, that's my MAC valve, is set as a pulse width modulated ground. If we look here on the pin map under the outputs, you'll see my boost plus solenoid is again a pulse width ground. So essentially what that's doing is that when the computer wants to control that solenoid or that output it is going to close the circuit on the ground side so the solenoid will ground through the ecu you give it power in my case i'm using a solid state relay but you give it power if you want to use switched power cool if you want to run it ignition hot cool i just chose to use the virtual switch on the dash through the solid state relay because I had that as an option. Once you have all of this set up this way, boost controller should work. Right, so there'd been some questions about the three port Mac valve. I hope that this video answered some of them. There we go, finish off that apple crown. You all know that's all, what it's all about. However, if you can get the apple ambush, that is, that is legit. But Missouri's a long way to go to a distillery from Georgia. So I'll take what I can get. Anyways, this has been covered a handful of times. Happel over on Sloppy, for all that you say about him, he has a wealth of knowledge on boost controllers and how to set them up and stuff like that. He goes over using the simple three port, using the... the bleed valve he goes over using a four port he goes over uh the the co2 all that stuff uh i think the boys over at clapped out talked about it but i'd been asked so i thought i'd do a video on it not real sure what else to say other than ace your car is slow and nitrous leave it in the past boost is a future and holly efi for the win oh and check out my OnlyFans. Wash your hands. Good night.